Hello everyone, welcome to another day and another Dark Souls mod. This time we are tackling Dark Souls 2, specifically Dark Souls 2, Scholar of the First Sin, Tales of Drang Lake. Now there's a title for you, try to come up with an abbreviation for that. So this is Tales of Drang Lake, a mod, I think it came out last year, uh, 2020 October, pretty significant overhaul of the game, rebalances, a lot of things. Honestly, the reason I settled on this mod is it seems to be the most sort of balanced and thought out. There are a ton of mods for this game and there are a lot of ones that change the game. There's like Fire Seeker or whatever it's called. Um, yeah, there's just a bunch of them. However, after looking into all of them, this one again seems to be the closest one to what I'm looking for. We're gonna skip the intro because the intro is just the intro uh, in that it rebalances the game a little bit but doesn't change anything too radically. Uh, the dude who made this is not trying to reinvent the wheel and like remake the whole series which that was the thing I really felt with Daughters of Ash uh, that the modder really had his like own vision for the game and tried to make it into that. Totally not the vibe I'm getting from this. This is just like a rebalance which to be honest with you, you guys know that Dark Souls 2 could use a rebalance occasionally. Oh man, it's been a while since I've played Dark Souls 2, but you guys know I absolutely love this game. Uh, I've always had a soft spot for it, and this still holds true. Yeah, by the way, playing with a PS controller, um, as usual. Surprisingly, the PS5 controller works with Steam by default. It works very well. Uh, sometimes the PS4 control did I say PS4? PS5 I meant if I said it mistakenly. Uh, the PS4 controller I did have issues with uh, sometimes with Steam games. I had to use that DS4, Windows, whatever. Okay, enough babbling. How is this series gonna go? Like all my other series is recently in that if there is some dead air I'm going to cut that out just to, you know, like streamline the experience. But of course, with this being a new, a new game. experience, uh, I'm going I'm to keep in more of it. Play. I'm not just gonna like teleport around like a crazy asshole. Man, it's weird saying this game <laughs> runs so smoothly. Because this game on PS4, it has like some frame rate stuff, as all the games do. I think it capped at 60 FPS but it doesn't always reach it I'm not sure however this is PC silky smooth uh, I'm sure it works like this on PS5 as well yeah the music is nice here those little bit of harps you know that is a silver ass candle I just noticed man in this game is cool yeah, so again, the reason I decided, oh, do I have an idea for this? I'm a fucking genius. Do I know my name or what? Fuck, is it spelled like that? Let me check the spelling here because I don't want to embarrass myself. Thank fuck I looked it up because I would have made an idiot out of myself, which, to be frank, wouldn't have been the first time, but... Okay, cool. Yeah, I'm going to be cosplaying Ishin from Sekiro. Because, you know, I just feel like playing Ishin. Because Ishin is cool. This is going to be like Prime Ishin, where he's wielding a spear and a katana. Should be cool, you know, this game is very good in the dual wielding department. And it's very easy to use two offensive weapons. So that should be a good, like, Ishin. Uh, like a little roleplay base. Think back. Deep into your past. Yes. It's an effigy. See, the thing is, just these characters are so much more interesting um, in their own context. You know, like, not with, like, Dark Souls 2. You know what I mean. Um, yeah, this is a katana. Nice. We're gonna be a swordsman, as in like when these characters were just like thrown into uh, Dark Souls 2. It didn't exactly work. I'm gonna go for human effigy, because why not? 
and we need to mess around here a little bit to make an Ishin. Okay, so this is the best Ishin I could come up with. Uh, this shit was really hard. Oh man, I'm gonna put the image of actual Ishin. It's impossible. First of all, I forgot how limited some of the options are in this game. For example, when it comes to hair choice, there isn't even a top knot to have like the Ishin Samurai style thing. The eyes as well, there are like no preset eyes to choose from. Fuck, this was definitely 2013. 2013, right? For this game, I think. Alright, we're gonna trot along, don't worry. Fucking hell, my... If you hear the noise, uh, the wire of my controller keeps banging against my desk. And I have a metal desk, um, metal and glass desk, so it makes a noise. Man, that is more high quality than I ever wanted to see that woman's mouth. That's for sure. Cool, so they're all having a cheeky giggle on my expense, at my expense. Let's use correct English here, boys. Okay, first things first. Yeet that scimitar out of here. So yeah, again, this is the... Oh, this is <laughs> not Ishin. This is the... This is the bargain bin Ishin. Um, available at your local Costco's. Actually, Costco's isn't even that cheap. Fucking Western beef. <laughs> that was the... That was the shit. It's like a New York thing. Uh, or like tri-state area thing. Uh, Western beef. That is like the grimiest store ever. It's a chain too. So anyways, let's get going here. Uh, on our little katana journey. Apparently this mod fixes the durability issues of the game. We will see whether that holds true. Uh, as we go along. The question is, can we just go straight through? No, we cannot. Okay, good. I think that was mentioned in the patch notes. There is like some patch notes for this, but... Yeah, that is good because, you know, Scholar just basically allows you to fully bypass the entirety of the tutorial, which, you know, is fair for veteran players, but... I think a lot of maybe newbies just like ran straight through and had no idea what the hell is going on. How long has it been since I've played the fucking Dark Souls 2 tutorial? I have no idea. It's been a long time. Do I have a hood? I have a hood that doesn't match. Still this foot soldier stuff does look pretty good. This is a decent starting equipment. I'm not sure what the most Ishin E armor set is in the game. Uh, I don't think there is an Eastern set. Like an Eastern looking set in this game. But there are so many fucking options in this game that if I don't remember, uh, I'm not gonna like blame myself. I think the durability issue is fixed because if I was playing standard Dark Souls 2, this shit would be like halfway broken already. One of the most annoying things about the 60 FPS version of this game when Scholar of the First Thing came out is that they didn't account for something basic like that and especially if you hit corpses. I don't know who the hell did the voice but kudos to you. Wherever you are, person who did the voice of the crows, here's a personal Mr. Sketchhead shout out to you. Anyways, yeah, we might as well go through all of these. We pretty much have to, don't we? What is the... Oh, it has like a fucking Ichimonji double. Is this the Uchigatana or the... What's the other one? No, this is an... Am I stoned? Why is this thing upgraded to plus one? 
Huh. Does the... What is this character class? Soldier or Swordmaster or whatever? Does he get that by default? I don't think I've ever played this class. Hm, whatever. Whatever. Plunge. Let me try parrying. I need to, like, readjust to... Dark Souls 2 parrying, that's for sure. Come on, attack me. Fuck. Okay. Not on this guy. Because we're gonna be here until, like, tomorrow. This looks like a toilet door. Does it... This, like, definitely looks like an outhouse. You'd expect to find the sawdust and a hole. You know, like one of those, like, hole-in-the-ground type toilets? It's definitely what it is. Oh yeah, apparently uh, live gems are limited in this version of the game. Or in this mod. You can't just keep buying them over and over again. Which is cool. But conversely, if I remember correctly, uh, there's a... Note that says that Estus is a little bit more user friendly. By which I'm assuming it's faster. Because Estus is good in this game, it's just. mad slow, you know. What the? Okay, chill. Use all we've learned to. absolutely destroy these enemies. And I mean absolutely destroy them. God, it's good to be back. Um, when was the last time I played Dark Souls 2? I think I still streamed it. Okay, that did not work. Don't worry about it. Okay, now worry about it because I'm about to die. Hmm... Let's, you know, set up, like, um, a little list of next steps. Uh, fuck, am I, like, role-playing work here? Setting up next steps or something? But anyways, uh... But then... Hold on. I did not pick up... Interesting. Yeah, because I did not pick up... Unless you have to go down to the... The ogres or whatever. Do you seriously have to fight these things? To progress? Or it's gonna be that treasure? Isn't it? Because that treasure isn't in the main game. What the hell is he doing? It's all ogre now. Yep. This is how well I know this game. Even if you mod it, I just know what's going on. You're dealing with a real expert here. I should check out what's on the other side as well. Now that I think about it. Yeah, let's... Let's go to Majula first. We're gonna go to Majula first. And the reason is, uh, I wanna pick up my Stus. My stus flask. Come on, hurry the. I'm gonna get it. Okay. First of all, I shouldn't be trying to parry with my bare fists. That's like the worst parrying tool in the entire game. Uh, second of all, I need to readjust. I'm still playing the Hunter's Guide. That is ongoing, so... You know, my little muscle memory... In my tiny brain is calibrated to Dark Souls 1, so... You know. I'll get used to it. Don't worry. It's gonna be weird switching. Oh god, this place is so nice. Um... I'd live here. I'd buy this place. 
probably mad expensive. Seaside views. No beach access though, that is a negative point, although plenty of space to set up a built-in pool. Not an above ground pool for sure. I'm Ishin with angry eyebrows. This is the best. This is the best maiden. Best wife, I should say, in the entire series. And don't even argue with me on that. Top tier waifu. That is a nice looking katana. Sounds like a plan. Seek seek lest. For misery will lead you to greater, stronger souls. You will never need to God damn eyebrows. This is not a good Ishin at all, but you can say I didn't try. Seek those whose names are unutterable. The four endowed with immense souls. It's been so long since I've listened to any of this. This is kinda cool. There it is. Seek, seek, lest. Okay, let's see if we can level up. If we can level up. Uh, what the shit? Oh no, we cannot level up. Wait, why am I level 22? Isn't that high a little bit? Oh, I know why. Yeah, they mentioned this because your adaptability is set at 20 by default so as to avoid the annoying like shitty Dark Souls 2 mechanic of not being able to dodge shit at the beginning of the game yeah I totally remember that cool that is actually a really really good idea and we start out with a plus 4 Estus Flask by default Solaire there's a Solaire in this? Not Solaire. An Onion, bro. A Gape Ring. <sighs> Things are getting spicy. I can feel... Like, right now it's like... Cayenne Pepper level of spice. The Gape Ring. Absorb Souls. This is the... Yeah, this is so you don't level up your soul memory. What a bruh. Um... No way. He doesn't want to... Have you ever met an Onion Knight that is that much of a dick? Uh, oh. uh, hello there. Welcome to my... This guy is boring. I'm not going to listen to him. He has good shit though. And while we're here, we might as well raid his house. That is a big ass book. Nice shard. Although, yeah, the blacksmith is unavailable. Is he unavailable? He he's unavailable. Oh, it doesn't matter. Just help me open this door. I packed my tools in here. Okay, yeah, whatever. And I think there is one more NPC to hit up. This fucking mid-2000s emo band lead singer. He's so sad. That is a sad boy if I've ever seen one. Oh, nice. A place where life is Did they make that more? I think they did. Yeah, that's cool. It didn't look like that. I think it reflects more what it actually looks like. Solden. Nobody knows this guy's name. He's kind of a throwaway. Okay, shut the fuck up. 
God, talking to this guy genuinely. Oh, shit. Hopefully this is... Hopefully the mod is working and... There's a reason why I'm unable to talk to these NPCs. I did download the latest patch and everything. Um, I'm guessing there wouldn't be like new dialogue recorded for any of these guys. But it would be a shame if I got something wrong, which I think I didn't. I have confidence in my mod installing skills. But you never know with these things. Yeah, again, I assume they wouldn't uh, record new dialogue. No, no modders are that endowed with resources. <laughs> nice, the red cestus. Punch, punch. Okay, I need to like ASAP look up where I can get a spear. Because for this build to take shape, that is really what we need. I will look at the spears in this game and see which one is the closest to what Ishin does. Technically, moveset wise, a halberd would be closer because Ishin really swings with the spear, not stabs with it but whatever we can't have we can't have everything I can see there are no ogres it's all ogre now right here which makes sense like having ogres here was a bit of a strange move Ooh, there it is. Stab him. Still got it. Still got them parrying skills. Which is, in this game, it's all about predicting instead of reacting. Ain't gonna be able to react to shit in this game. <laughs> nice. That is a interesting, interesting physics on that. Not sure that would happen in real life, although, to be fair, I've never tried rolling a thief knife off of a riverbank. Okay, can't get all of them. I'm not gonna be greedy. I am definitely not greedy. And see, really, the thing is uh, looks unchanged so far again which is mostly what I'm expecting uh, I know there are a lot of changes in this game it's evident in the games like or the mods change log however the changes are not like super super dramatic as I said at the start so it's not like your feeling isn't like when you went from vanilla to scholar. Uh, it's something like... Again, a little extra. It's like a sprinkling of cayenne pepper. Not habanero. Or scotch bonnets. Just a little bit of, you know... Spice. Of course, that's gonna be... Sort of... Uh, oh, hello there. Did I? Oh, shit. I am officially the loser of the first iteration of ladder PvP. Which is a bit of a shame. Am I gonna miss? No. Okay. I was like, at least don't miss the jump. If I have to backtrack. And as you saw how I was drinking there before, uh, Estuses are way, way sped up in this game basically bringing them much more in line with the rest of the series uh, the heal itself still kinda <sighs> throwing in this game is very interesting um, it's like fucking it's like a low gravity it's like throwing something on the moon that's what it looks like so 
yeah, the heal itself, so your HP still goes up slower, but the actual speed of the Estus is, is way sped up, which is definitely a welcome change, you know, because this mod nerfs life gems, it's completely fair that they make Estuses a little bit more user friendly. I'm just gonna just gonna grab this. Okay, don't. Don't kill me, please. This should be Yep. And as you can see, this is a perfect example that the ambushes are Oh, don't That was definitely a parry bitch. Come on! Come on! Are you fucking serious? <laughs> I just got my ass beat. We'll try not to... Oh, this might be new. Were there two of these guys here before? I don't remember. It don't matter. There's only one thing I'm hoping... There were... There were... Okay. The only thing I'm hoping is that the bonfire is intact, which... No reason why it shouldn't be. That increased adaptability. This is what I'm looking for. That ADP. And... The buckler. Man, things are gonna change now. I'm not gonna be able to use this for long, but... While I'm using it, I'm gonna make the most out of it. Starting with this guy right here. Come on. Unbelievable. I can't even call myself a parry god anymore. Uh, that title has been revoked from me. It's a bit of a shame. A bit of a shame indeed. One thing I didn't check, can you still warp? Yes, you can. Well, that's nice. Um, always, always helpful. I think the dark areas have been adjusted a little bit. Let's see an ambush. Oh, there we go. That's how you do it. We're getting there, we're getting there. Come on. This should be easy. Are you fu- I thought I was hitting him. But I guess I wasn't. I wasn't. I wasn't. My speaking abilities are degrading every single day. Anyways, we'll go back to that crystal lizard. It's not the end of the world. No lizard is lost forever, or something like that. I almost legit missed the chest. There's like some weird background noises. Uh, the thing is, as you guys know, I always play my Souls games, well not always, but 90% of the time I play on consoles. And I usually have my TV on and it's turned down the volume. So some of these noises are completely new to me. Damn background noises. 
cool i think we've reached the end of a very tasty episode of dark souls 2 scholar of the first sin not S scholar of the first sin tales of drang lake I'm just gonna call it tales of drang lake yeah we'll wrap it up here and we will pick it up next time i feel like this is a good episode length yeah take care and see you next time